What are we not getting right around smart metering? Smart metering has come a long way, I think, in the last um, decade or so. Um, I think where we're missing a trick is it's great having the data, but the important thing is what do you do with it? How do you analyze it? How do you um, then use that data to drive performance improvement? And in terms of then when you get that data using the meters, what, what sort of things are you driving out of that? What sort of actions are you taking to, to improve efficiency? For us, it's been uh, simple stuff, turning stuff off that doesn't need to be on, turning it down, um, having a good handle of what, what's happening on, on the site so we can optimize our energy consumption based upon um, uh, the, the business needs. We like to feel that we're ahead sometimes in energy. Is that really the case? UK, I think the environmental, the, the regulatory and framework is, is probably a bit more, um, has been in, in place a longer time in the UK and that's driving um, certain certain behaviours and, and, and actions. Though we moan about legislation around energy, it could actually be helping us to be ahead of our competition around the world. Well, I think that's the intention, yes. Um, uh, at least I hope so. Um, it's certainly, you know, the, the, the taxes, if you look at the CRC, and, you know, a lot of people were, were very unhappy about the changes in, in that. Um, but actually, in reality, it's a very small proportion of your energy spend. Obviously, no one likes paying more tax than, than they should. Um, but if we're going to get to where we need to be, then there's got to be some incentives and drivers for that. Thank you.